Jared Blevins here with a video of day one. This is the high volume day in my workout. Uh, Barbell One did send me uh, my foam roller, so a couple of pictures of it there. Very happy about that. This day starts out with a 5x5 five five on squats, followed by 6x6 six six incline, followed by 3x8 uh, conventional floor press, 6x3, barbell row, 8x4, and then 200 reps of croc rows. Um, it's a pretty high volume program. You see 86,000 pounds of total volume there and over 50,000 with the barbell uh, working sets on this day. So overall, a pretty taxing day. Additionally, I did about 14,000 more overall uh, pounds of work on this day than last Monday. Uh, however, only about 4,000 of that was from the uh, barbell work. The rest was uh, upping the weight on the croc rows. Uh, squats were kind of hit and miss on this day, especially with depth. Uh, my hips are pretty beat up, and so even just warming up was difficult. Um, I have been trying to warm up some more, uh, just kind of getting my hips warm by kicking my legs, uh, either bringing my leg forward and backwards doing dynamic stretches, uh, or side to side opening up the hips and getting the abductors warm. Additionally, I did some band pull-aparts and uh, band dislocates. Uh, to warm up my shoulders before this day and then spend a good amount of time with the barbell itself going through the, uh, the motions. Sometimes I'll also use an empty bar and just move through some uh, upright rows uh, or barbell uh, bent over rows or uh, some partial squats or good mornings to warm up before I start with the actual weight. On this day, uh, again though, I was really stiff. In my warm-ups, I could tell immediately it's going to be a tough day. However, on the uh, final set of squats coming up after this one, I uh, started breaking at the knees before the hips, and this really allowed me to get to a better depth uh, for the day and had some really good reps in here. I believe this was uh, 525 uh, for the working reps. You can go back and look at the, uh, the log. That has the accurate information to my sets and reps. But this is the depth that I would like to get to in competition. Um, I was pretty happy with most of these, and uh, depth was definitely going to be passable. I also have an iPod in my pocket, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to see where the hip crease is, but I can tell that that's good depth. Um, this was followed by some conventional poles. I uh, went a little heavier. This is 495 and was able to, uh, on all of my reps for this uh, particular workout, go above what I did uh, the previous week by about... 40 pounds. Um, I didn't put any sets in here, but in between squats and deadlifts, I did incline with uh, 275 and 265 for the last two sets. That was up from uh, 225 uh, last week. And so making some progress on incline press, floor press also went well today. Um, we'll get there in a minute. Uh, getting a little bit better at bar path uh, with these poles. Um, I did some of these uh, sets without my straps. I did some of them with straps. It was about 50-50. And uh, started with 495 and then worked up to 535. Um, still need to work on uh, keeping my very lower back um, from rounding, keeping it stiff, still figuring out where to put the belt. I tried it a little bit lower um, on this day than where I'd had it uh, the last time that I'd used it. If I wear it higher, it gives me a lot of internal pressure, but it does not help me with lower back rounding. And so on most of these, I felt pretty good about them. But especially with the straps, getting into a, a stable position is difficult for me uh, out of the, the bottom of the deadlift. However, I did start to pull the slack out of the bar a little bit slower, and that seemed to help me get into a good starting position. I'm also uh, getting better at retracting my lats uh, at the start of the lift. And I remembered seeing a video with Mike Tashir where he starts to get tight uh, with his hips high and then kind of sits back into it, almost where if he didn't have the bar to hold on to, he would fall over backwards. Um, it's an old video I think he, uh, he made with Mark Bell at Super Training. So trying to put some of that tension into my uh, hamstrings before I initiate the lift. That rep there was uh, pretty good on that. Um, on this set, I just went down and then came kind of right back up. I didn't reset in between reps. Um, just playing around again with how to do uh, comfortable conventional reps. This was the final uh, set for the day. Uh, with 535. I'm hopefully going to be able to get up to a 545, maybe a little bit more next week for these. But my posterior chain was pretty taxed on this workout. Um, I decided that uh, after the first two reps went pretty smooth just to go without the straps on the third rep, reset. And I uh, was pretty happy with this rep here, especially after the squatting and uh, deadlifting I had done uh, smooth reps. So getting a little bit better at conventional. 
And this was followed up by four press. I started with 365 for six, but that was way too easy. So then I went 405 for six, and it was like at an eight RPE. And so I moved up to 425. Uh, this was my top set, and it got up to, I would say, a nine and a half RPE. I then dropped back down to 405 and did my last set of six. I would also rate this probably at a nine. Um, I then followed up with barbell rows with 315 and croc rows. Instead of using the 40s and really pulling up high with the croc row, though, I decided instead to use a lot more body and uh, twist and use my abs and everything to get the weight up and did uh, 80s, 90s, and one set with 100-pound dumbbells for those croc rows. Um, I just want to put this verse in here. I did a quick Google search of what, uh, what the Bible has to say about hard work. And uh, this Ecclesiastes is an interesting book. You've got to be a little careful when you're using it because uh, some of it is kind of pessimistic and there's reasons for that. I'm not going to go into them now. But this one stuck out to me. Uh, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. And Sheol is another name for the place of the dead. So kind of what this is saying is uh, YOLO. Uh, you only live once. So whatever you find to do in this life, do it well. Because you're not going to have an opportunity to do it again. I've said this before uh, in reference to my master's work, which just seems to take forever. That's a 76-unit master's that just keeps going and going. Um, but you know what? I only have to do it once. And with training and with all this barbell work and with powerlifting, um, I'm really enjoying the journey. I don't feel burned out. But even when I do get that way, you know, what else would I rather be doing? I only live once. I only get to walk this journey once. And I'm happy to be doing it. Um, really enjoying this high-volume training and all the work that's going into it. And uh, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen from it. In any case, I hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Blessings.